Yeah. So we welcome Dr. So, Rao. Uh, and uh, thank you, Nani. So and uh, uh, thanks to, to all you. members, those who are uh, linked uh, to globally and uh, to India Pacific and all the things. So let's talk today about uh, environment. All people, uh, especially uh, uh, more than 10 to 15 years, a lot of countries have a high regarding environment policies, reformations uh, like the future human life and lot of things. So environment uh, is one of the, you can say, uh, gifted by the universe where human being can be settled down in a very uh, resilient manner. But to day to day increment of uh, of uh, the load of uh, human capacities and other you can say in uh, development of industries uh, mines and development of technologies which indirectly uh, you can say dissect uh, the balance of the nature so a um, uh, lot of countries nowadays they are working on a nature's rebalancement uh, nature's uh, like uh, reducing the carbon effect and balancing the nature by uh, deploying different forests and uh, like uh, different technologies for the harvesting and all. Uh, but uh, uh, in the sense, uh, because day by day we are gradually in uh, like our energy capacity. Main main thing uh, we need to focus is that how we can uh, balance the nature with uh, creating different source of energy because the more more carbon footprints and other. Uh, you can say hazards happening uh, due to uh, the wantings of the energy like all the things we are nowadays connected through energies maybe data maybe day-to-day -day functions or anything else so we need to pinpoint it on that aspect first second thing is that to create a innovative way and approach you know among the societies nowadays in specially diet to diet three cities and even if in different part of the world People are living uh, like uh, in concrete buildings and all, but they are forget to uh, deploy some of the harvestry or some of the greenery in their house. So if we can formulate a mini or sort or you can say capsule forest in between the societies and all, it's also minimize some of the effects. And um, the most thing is that is day to day we are using the technologies and the energy uh, requirement is high and high. So we need to think about uh, new emerging technologies like one of the technology we are nowadays using the solar uh, uh, photographic te technologies where you can um, getting electricity uh, through solar energy. But what about the moon energy? We are also having two scape of lights. One is sunlight, one is moonlight. So gradually some backend innovation is going on on the moonlight photovoltaic cell. When it will be like um, uh, finally R&D will be completed, then we can get two sources of light. One is from the day, that is from the sun. Second is from the night, that is from the moon. And uh, if we can convert it, our uh, like day-to-day uh, -day activities into uh, 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 by setting up some of uh, kinetic energy in our especially in household and all. Uh, like uh, so, we can uh, we can. Uh, save a lot of energies, we can uh, share a lot of energies to the community and through the community structure we can uh, develop more uh, sustainability uh, among the environment. And foremost thing, one need, uh, I as an educator, as a researcher on that initiative, I have a point is that the for, for coming generation, those who are actually coming uh, towards the future, and also being uh, their responsibility, how they will be responsible if we can indulge to their, to their activities, especially on focusing on the environmental sustainability and all. So, the, uh, and, and especially uh, technology is very good and uh, we can use the technologies by uh, adding new values in our life. But um, the thing is that as much as possible, we can use the technology so that the energy reductions will be much less and there will be less burden in the environment and uh, like uh, uh, most of people uh, it's, it's it's not like the aspect of energy uh, uh, consumption it's not a aspect of environmental sustainability it's the aspect of how we need to be change our behavior regarding for environmental sustainability a lot of programs a lot of uh, we can say r and d's are uh, making by the bureaucrats and the governments and the peripheral partners and all but still one thing need to be uh, added is that the behavior patterns for the coming generations they need to understand why the balancement 
of nature brought for and second thing is that what we are using a numerous number of technologies but what essential things you need to use and what are the essential things we are need to conserve because as long as we conserve we will be reducing energy means using uh, less energy so that using less energy also conserve more um, you can say forest and evaporation and our thing is that uh, we are um, focusing more on fuel sources we are focusing more on especially hydro and other sources but why not we are more reflect on other sources of activities like uh, the solar sources is um, still uh, their branch their wind sources there there are uh, different um, you can say hydrokinetic sources are there also uh, there is a source uh, especially if we can attach uh, to artificially uh, to creating from the mercury we can have a renewable energy resources also there are a lot of sources so uh, it's the aspect that even if lot of governments are uh, uh, doing is uh, the activities but still it is not in a high pilot mode people are thinking that that we will be doing in the next year we will be doing the next year but but every year is going on what about the coming future we are still now we are already reaching 2023 and if you are seeing the carbon ratings put for probably it will be approx uh, per country will be more than 5% regarding energy through energy zone and other reduction of the the tops so there are lot of things uh, uh, need to be conserved so from the educational level to the hyper society level everything need to be behavior changed patterns so government need to be inferred some of the policies so where people can really understand why this is essential for us second uh, in, uh, we can add some of the innovative and less reductive devices in our day to day life so that the energy consumption and other consumption will be low and fourth thing is that uh, uh, we deploy some of the creativity and we deploy some of the new um, inventions especially on the agronomics and all so that could uh, develop new forest uh, new bio uh, natures and all so that there will be a balancement between um, uh, the community to community and the whole earth because day by day the balancement of uh, things are going on and literally things being very polluted and people are being suffered by various diseases it's a cycle it's not like about thinking about um this uh, the nature it's a cycle people are affected through health emotionally mentally physically and lot of things are happening so if we can find tune the balancement of the nature then all things will be smoothed out gradually uh, and uh, especially lot of uh, people and uh, i i uh, We have my visiting to different countries and different geographical regions, especially on the Asian Pacific countries. Due to the robust uh, industrialization and all, mostly it impacted into the people's health and also the environment. These two two things are. Even if you go to any metros, the perception of the pollution is very high. So, but we can't uh, say that it will change between one year or one month or two months. But we need to change. Who will be changed? We have to change. we have to taken care so we need to be a creating a community collaboration so to create revamps of the nature so we have to for that reason we have to make our society or our nature or our field real take or our technology or day to day living things into very sober manner so that our society will be greener and our country will be greener and it will be giving more ambience to live uh, because Uh, as for you can see nature gifted according to medical terminology also our human body is much more resilient and much more active when it it lives in the natural ambiences and all so if you are only living uh, the areas where we only occupy with lot of pollution and all then the longevity of the people should be reduction nowadays people are longevity in between 50 to 60 then it will be reduced year by year or by 5 to say 10 years it will be reduced by like 40 or 30 slabs also so lot of effects are happening uh, and uh, people are doing a um, researcher innovators throughout the globe they are doing a you know, very amazing things but it need to be uh, understood by people that those things are innovated those things are implied by the government they should actually implemented in their self level not to societal level if you are not able to like implement these things in your family or self also then how you can how you can think about to implement in the country 
So this thing are uh, the main stream need to be catch up with the environmental problems and all. And uh, especially um, uh, uh, in environmental categories, if you are coming to India, uh, there are a lot of things uh, need to be taken care. That is one of the um, you can say foremost things in coming ten years. It will be the water pollutions. We need to be taken care of the water pollutions. Soil has already been polluted more than forty percent in India. Soil need to be preserved. And forestations uh, are deforestation due to the mines and minerals activities. So it's okay to develop, but it's we need a secondary sources. What about when the mines will be finished? Then what country will be doing that after that? So mines need to be uh, some mines need to be evacuated where people are not there, and those mines who are evacuated, they need to seal properly so that people can on that peripheral geographical area, which is 500 kilometers, people's life can be saved. Uh, from different natural hazards like uh, earthquake, drought, or all. Because when you evacuated some materials from the ground, if it is not filling well, then there will be a lot of imbalance between the earth structure and and uh, the noise pollution is one of the impacting which is coming now day by day. Lot of traffic, lot of issues, uh, and um, it need to be taken care on that aspect also. And uh, one thing which is not uh, which is nurture in the peop uh, people's uh, humanity life and all. Nowadays we are uh, equipped with uh, like different uh, IoT devices, uh, different uh, like uh, AC and fridges and lot of things. So through different uh, gases, uh, through different radiations, we are impacted. So gradually impacted all the things and polluted impacted all the things in our life, but. We are expecting that some society or some people were coming and remembering this. So we need to think about what are the essential things we need to use in our life, what are the essential things we need to preserve for our society, so that our further generations will be having a good life, especially to live and uh, learn from the society. But if we are we are not, uh, you can say, making a fit, so we can have different patterns in our own terms, then how we can think about that our upcoming generation will be. Uh, so, th um, that are the some points uh, which uh, all people uh, mostly throughout the globe, it's not a country, country specific that we are saying that this due to this country or this region which is happening. So, we we are one of, uh, you can say, people are saying human we are one of, uh, placed or one of the intelligent creations by the God. But I am saying, from my perception is that nature is not only belongs to human beings, belongs to all the ecosystems. So it's a responsibility if we have an intelligence, we need to balance the ecosystem. So according to what are the technologies essential in our life, what are the energies essential in your life, we need to revamp on that so that all things will be properly balanced. And uh, two things. Balanced life is always a you can say transformation life where people live life enjoyably and but in balanced life fear, stress, not no matter how much rich you are, no matter how much famous you are, nothing else. If your health is not well, if your uh, level of balance is not well, then there is nothing else. So we need to take care of that initiative. And regarding uh, for policies and information is how this uh, not only to uh, see what are the things are happening, but also we need to take in care and also participate to make the change, change happen to the society. And it should be one of the, you can say, environment is a topic nowadays, every schools, every education, every uh, colleges, even if are the, uh, implied in their education syllabus. But it, it, it's like a reading matter. So, there should be some process where actually students or child can uh, really understand what are the like drastically things will be happening in the future if they are not taking care about the environment. So they, these things through uh, the comic or through different uh, typology of education uh, implementation, they can, if they can attribute it to current generation, then there will be a lot of fulfillment in the future also. And uh, especially on the policies part, uh, I expect and also a lot of things people gradually now supporting to especially on the environmental because people are gradually aware about most people from 2019 have a lot of above experiences when people uh, sit at home on uh, pandemic situations. 
so according to i expect uh, throughout the globe uh, and uh, especially in regions at all people gradually uh, making doing a good practices and make their society healthier wealthier and safer for the future hello yeah so for the uh, patients uh, all things all my uh, uh, point of discussion is uh, finished and thank you so much niti ji and all the panel members and all the peoples and i expect uh, that for the coming teachers we need to take care of our health not only well health along with the environment so it is creating the wealth of health thank you so much thank you dr r for your thank you thank you so much for your time and uh, we will have a master class at 5 o'clock so just stay tuned till that time sure, sure. and uh, yeah.